Hey guys, this is an Anlin Malibu patio door. I'm gonna show you how to replace rollers, screen door roller. Firstly, let's get the screen door out of its track. I'm going to release the tension on all four springs, right? So on the top, lefty, loosey. So let's turn counterclockwise. And what that's doing is it's allowing me to move this door up and down inside of its track. Same thing is true here. Let's go ahead and get this lefty loosey, all right, counterclockwise. Okay, all the way to the left. So as you can see, this will come out, but look, the rollers are still in there and gravity is making it so that way you can't easily pull this out. So simultaneously, Lift up, take a putty knife, and feed it underneath. You'll feel when the roller is clear, okay? Same thing for the right side. Lift up, look at how easy that was, all right? I just saved you an hour right there. Okay, now, this is only gonna be beneficial to you if you have a screen door that has mitered corners and has an adjustment on the ends here. Right? Let's look at the new one, okay? You got this little spring guy here that's pushing on the bottom of the frame to keep it in place, right? As you can see, there's a little buoyancy here. So that's what this is doing. It's making it so that way it's not so loud and rattly, okay? To get it out, all you have to do, if you see these little guys here, and as you can see, there's a little invitation right here. Take a small Phillips head screwdriver. I like Phillips for this. Take a small one, feed it down inside there, push down. I just saved you two hours, okay? New one. So now you're looking inside here. Maybe take, take a blower or something and, and, and get out any kind of dirt or whatever debris that's in there. I'm going to do the reverse. See? Now, feed this down inside, okay. Now, I'm, I'm at a point where all I have to do is start to push down a little bit, and we're on, that's it. You are set. So now that you have your brand new roller on, let's reinstall the screen. Get ourselves set up here. To put it in, you just feed it up into the top track, right? Hold that pressure. Look, it doesn't really wanna go in. Take your putty knife, there's your roller. Feed it onto the track and do the same thing for the other side. Oops. There we go. Now it's on the track. Nope, that one's not. Not all the way at least. There we go. Check your work. Yep, looks good. It's rolling on the track. Now we have to raise these up. Now all I'm going to do is just check my reveal. Make sure that it's lining up. Okay, and now for the tops, you just tighten this up, and again, why would you tighten that? It's because you don't want it to be floppy like that. So as I'm doing this, I'm lifting up on this. I'm just checking to see when it's gonna start actually biting a little bit. There it goes, that is good. So we'll do the same thing to this side. Just a little bit of movement, not a lot. And it just keeps it in the track, it keeps it nice and tight, you know, but not too tight because then all of a sudden you're like, ah, this thing's a bear to slide back and forth. But this is not. This is really, really nice. You're done. Go have yourself a beer. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions about it, any other tips that you can always throw out there, I don't know it all. Put that in the comment section for others to view and make it a great day. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, if you live in the Ventura or Long Beach area and are interested in a free in-home estimate, go to our website, AmericanWindowConcepts.com, and we'll reach back out to you as soon as possible. If you guys find this information valuable and you want to continue to learn more about windows and doors, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.